Now back to Inside Real Estate. Here's Mike the Realtor. Hey, folks, we're back. It's Inside Real Estate. Mike Krasinga. Website InsideRealEstateRadio.com. InsideRealEstateRadio.com. And you know what? We are going to get to some real estate and home improvement talk. Yes, we. that's what it, the show is mostly about. But, you know, we talk about sports, entertainment, <laughs> politics, you know, all kinds of things. So just a wild and crazy time. And I uh, hope you have fun with us out there and hope you make us part of your regular Sunday morning. Hey, folks, we're talking to Richard Tonica of the Goosehead Insurance Agency. Phone number where you can reach Richard, 817-286-2002. 817-286-2002. And by the way, if you have questions for Richard about anything insurance, life, auto, home, toys, or otherwise, you can give us a shout, 888-787-KLIF, 888-787-KLIF. And, uh, you know, you can talk to him right here live on the air. Hey, Richard, how's it going? Not bad. How are you doing today? Good, good, good. And obviously, we were talking to you a little bit earlier in the show as well as we started ranting about Jordan and LeBron. But uh, you know, let's let's get into some some insurance talk, and um, you know, we always learn new things when we're talking insurance. You know, I love the goosehead model, and uh, you know, one thing I think that that we wanted to talk about um, was that uh, uh, you know I've seen you know here in in the DFW area, and especially here in Texas, we've got so many veterans, and veterans you know get hooked on using USAA. And, uh, you know, USAA is great. You yes. know, I, I mean, I am a USAA member, actually through my dad. You know, uh, my dad was with them. My dad was a veteran, Vietnam veteran. So, um, but I don't, uh, you know, use them for everything. And, uh, you know, when it comes to insurance, you know, for your home, I've, I've never seen them be, be very competitive uh, with homeowners policies whatsoever. And so a lot of time veterans just get stuck with using USAA and for everything. And, you know, I get the relationship, particularly when you're abroad and the banking and all those types of things, and you just kind of stay with them. But I think for those USAA members in particular out there, you know, they really need to think about, you know, giving you a call and talking to you, particularly about homeowners insurance, you know, and everything. Yes, I, I agree. I, one of the things that I would tell anyone that has had loyalty to a company like USA or anyone for a very long time is you're probably not getting the best rates that you can. Right. <clears throat> not only are you not getting the best rates, you may not even be, may not even have the best policy anymore. Mm -hmm. And going through everything, you're never going to know that if your loyalty keeps you from shopping it around. Right. And, you don't have to switch or anything else, but I think everyone should be informed on what's available to them and what kind of rates they can get with another company. Uh, USA is a fine company. Absolutely. I have Good. nothing against them. I, I, uh, yep, yeah, absolutely. I've done lots of business with them in, in relocation, done lots of business with them. And, and, and like I said, I'm a member, you know, so, you know, great company, no doubt. But I think, and I've just, I've just seen it so much, you know, cause look, I see it with, with buyers who buy a house and I see what they pay for their full year upfront owner's policy for, you know, a home. And I just see it too many times. USAA honestly is, you know, the bottom line is this is just a fact. I mean, it's just, they're just not competitive, you know, against other uh, companies in particular goosehead and uh, you know, people should shop around and you're right. You know, you know, loyalty can only go so far. Yes. You know, do you want to overpay for loyalty? I mean, especially when it's, you know, let's talk about deductibles, 2% most of the time. Exactly. And especially around here. I mean, if you have a 2% deductible on your roof, you might as well not even really put in a claim because the amount of money that you're going to have to come out of pocket with is going to just be astronomical. It's almost the entire, it's depending on what your, how much your dwelling is valued at. It may be the whole the whole payment for the roof is going to come out of your pocket rather than the insurance paying anything. So, right. Not just that. I mean, you're, you're you're talking about the deductible, and then you're also talking about your payments every single year that you're paying. Mm -hmm. That you don't want to put in a claim because your deductible. I mean, your rate's going to go up from an already astronomical rate that you're paying now, and 
what we do at Goosehead is we shop you. We'll shop you every single year if you would like. Uh, normally, I, I tell people as the first year, the first renewal, I'm probably not going to shop you. I am going to see if your rate went up. And if it went up by more than 3 to 5%, then yes, I'm going to start shopping you that first year. If it doesn't go up that much, then I'm going to wait till the second year. Now, if it goes up another 3 to 5%, then yes, now we're really shopping you every single year to make sure that you are getting the best policy at the best rate. And I always say policy first because, like I've said before, it doesn't matter how great your rate is if you're not getting a great policy also. And yeah. every every company that we deal with is an A-rated company. And so I don't have a loyalty to any particular carrier like USA or any of those I have a loyalty to my customers to make sure that they have the best rates and going through this, making sure that I'm finding the policy that fits their needs and their, and their, and their budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I find that it's just, it, it honestly, it is just blind loyalty, you know, and, and I've talked to some clients, you know, you know, have you thought about shopping, you know, and it's just that blind loyalty. It's like, now nah, I've been with them, you know, I, you know, they took care of me, you know, when I was in the military you know, why? Because just all your banking was easily taken care of. Like, you know, insurance is a totally different thing. Yes. You know, uh, but people get used to things and not making a switch. But you'd be surprised how much money they are overspending. And, you know, for example, you know, my dad's going to sell his place up in McKinney. And I was kind of going over some of his, uh, you know, numbers of things, uh, you know, at his place. And I looked at his insurance policy. He's with State Farm, and he's been with <laughs> State Farm, you know, for forever, you know. And I was like, Dad, you're overpaying on your homeowner's insurance for about at least a grand a year, you know. He was paying like $2,800 a year, you know, and just, you know, a nice a nice home, but it, it's it, it's not a that type of policy. Didn't need to be that policy. Like, okay. Dad, you're overpaying by about 1000 a year. You realize that. That's almost $100 a month on the mortgage, right? And, uh, well, you know, state farms, you know, they're just, uh, they'll take care of, you know, you know, cause, <laughs> you know, cause what the parents were with state farm, you know, what, because of the commercials, you know, I mean, folks do not have blind loyalty to an insurance provider. First of all, that the agent probably doesn't even know your name, you know, you know, get something out of this relationship, folks. Don't just keep throwing money every month at your insurance, no matter what it is, whether it's home, auto, toys, or otherwise, and not getting anything out of it. Why overpay? Exactly. And I've, and you, you talk about your insurance company taking care of you. I've had seven different companies or seven different customers that have had seven different types of claims, had no problem with any of them. Everything has, has gone absolutely as smooth as possible. And I've had uh, multiple multiple of my customers come back and say they thought it was going to be so much harder to get everything approved and everything else. And it was simply seamless going through and from the time that they had the accident or the incident to getting everything repaired. And that's what I'm here for is to make sure that that is a seamless process. But also when, when you're coming through and you're looking at the different carriers and what they cover and all, uh, and how they handle claims and going through that stuff, that's part of what having that relationship with, with me is all about is I'm walking you through that. If you don't know what you're doing, or even if you do, I'll, I'll take you through, through the steps to make sure that, you're getting taken care of like you want to be taken care of in the manner you want to be taken care of as quickly as possible and to make sure that everything goes off as seamless as possible. Yeah. And I mean, I would encourage, you know, some of the listeners out there that, you know, if you're heading into retirement or in retirement, you know, look, we all know, you know, oh, wait, crash, you know, we, we lost, we took a hit in our portfolios. You know, those of you in retirement, you may not have rebounded yet. Those of you in retirement, some of you out there, you know, may have had to go back to work. You know, you may have had to go back and take part time jobs in retirement. And uh, you know what? Every penny counts. And I would encourage you, if you've just been blindly paying that insurance bill, you know, no matter whether it's the auto insurance. And by the way, you know, speaking to you folks out there in retirement or semi retirement, 
if you haven't adjusted your auto policy because you no longer work and you're, you you know, pretty much staying at home or maybe you're just working a small part-time job nearby, guess what? Your auto policy should be adjusted for yes. that. And there's a pretty big savings in that right there. But in addition to that, you know, you should be talking to Richard and, you know, guess what folks? I mean, I'm talking about experience here just from my dad. I mean, my dad could have been saving a hundred dollars a month on his homeowner's insurance. Now he's probably could be saving more on his auto as well, you know, and my dad just hadn't looked at it. You know, he just kept paying it, kept paying, kept paying. And like a lot of us do, you know, but as you get into retirement, you know, Hey, and they, you know, if somebody said, Hey, we can get you an extra 1200, extra $1,500 a year, you know, and then maybe add that to what your savings in auto could be. Maybe save another 500, 600 bucks and yeah. probably get better policies. Hey, you could end up with an extra $2,000 a year and in retirement, you know, especially if you're faced with maybe having to go back to work a little bit. And if you're scared of the change, which a lot of people are, I mean, let's face it. Most people don't want to change. Yeah. It, the process of switching from one insurance company to, to another is not that difficult. It really isn't. It's, making two calls. I take care of canceling everything for my customers. And so that it is absolutely as seamless as possible. You come in, you, you get your quotes. If I've got a better policy at a better rate and, and providing you a better value, fantastic. If I'm not, I'll tell you that I'm, I'm pretty upfront and there's really no pressure whatsoever. And if you decide to move forward, it really is as simple as Sign here, sign here, make two calls, everything's done. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty, it, it's pretty rare where you're not going to be able to uh, put people in a better position. So, you know, folks, it's kind of a no-brainer. You know, you ought to give Richard a call. Uh, it's Richard Tonica, Goosehead Insurance Agency. He's right here in the Metroplex, in the heart of the Metroplex in Arlington. But guess what? He covers all of Texas. You know, so if you're one of our outlying areas, you know, because our listenership goes far and wide, you know, all the way down to Austin, out east, west, north. Um, you know, give him a call, 817-286-2002. Uh, his number, 817-286-2002. You know, if you're interested in better policies and saving money, you know. Now, of course, not everybody's interested in saving <laughs> money and better policies. You know, but if, if that's something that interests you, <laughs> I would highly recommend giving Richard a call. And if you want to spend more, I'm here for that too. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. We we can give you an overinflated <laughs> policy that you really don't need. If, if, if that's, you want to continue spending more money than you need to. Hey, folks, it's Inside Real Estate with Mike Krasinga. Hey, come on back in a few. <laughs> 